Hey everyone, it's Tracy Martirani here from Holistic Wellness with Tracy. Welcome back. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button so you never miss a video. Today I'm playing with sourdough. I have a sourdough starter that I keep in my fridge and I feed it every couple of weeks. Sometimes because I want to make something with a sourdough, other times because I'm just trying to keep it alive and well. But every time I feed it, I end up having to discard some of the starter. So I keep a second jar in my fridge that's just discard so that I can use it later and not make it go to waste. My jar of discard is getting fairly full, so I've decided it's time to make something with it. This won't actually be a real sourdough recipe because this is sourdough discard, not an active sourdough starter. Whenever I'm looking for a sourdough recipe, the place I go is the blog called Farmhouse on Boone. I will put a link to that in the description box below because she has a ton of sourdough recipes and they are all great. I went looking around on the blog, searching through some recipes and I happened to find a recipe for sourdough discard pretzels. And I thought, okay, it's September. so. Oktoberfest is coming up in another week or so. Not that I celebrate, but you know, if there's any reason to celebrate, take advantage of it, right? So I'm gonna make some nice, large, big sourdough discard pretzels, and I'm inviting you along with me. Now, I have never made these before, so I'm not sure how they're gonna turn out. Most of the recipes that I share here are recipes that I've made several times and I feel very confident in, this one, I guess we'll see what happens. I'm starting off by getting my yeast into my mixing bowl. I'm just using the bowl from my stand mixer. I throw in a little bit of honey because when I tend to proof my yeast, I like to add a little bit of sweetener, a little bit of food for the yeast. So as it wakes up in the warm water, there's also some sugar there for it to eat. So just mix that together, let it sit for a few minutes, allowing the yeast to come back to life. It should get a little bit foaming. You should just notice signs of a little activity. And then I'm gonna add a little more honey. Throw that around to get it sort of melted into the warm water. And again, you can find this recipe on the Farmhouse on Boone website. I will link that down in the um, description box. I decided actually to have this recipe. Have is in like make half of it. <laughs> uh, the recipe itself, I think it makes like 15 or 16 pretzels. And again, since this is the first time I've ever made it before, I decided, you know, I'm gonna limit my risk and only make maybe eight pretzels just to see how they came out. So I added my flour and my sourdough starter, a little bit of salt, and I'm just allowing this to mix up in my stand mixer. I have the um, dough hook on here. Scraping it down until it all comes together to form a dough. And then I allow my stand mixer to do a little bit of the kneading for me. So I'm just allowing it to run for a few minutes and then I'm going to pull it out and knead it a couple times by hand just to make sure that the consistency feels right. And it does feel like a nice sort of strong dough, I guess. It's moist, not overly dry. And then I'm just going to leave it here in the bowl and let it rise until it about doubles. A couple hours depending on how warm the kitchen is. And now that it's risen, I'm just going to pull it out and divide it into eight sort of 
equal sized pieces to make eight pretzels. And then once I have the in eight sort of equal pieces of dough, I'm going to start rolling them out one by one to make my pretzels. Now I started doing this on my floured surface and then the more I worked it, the more I realized that the less flour on the surface, the better. Um, when there was a lot of flour, it just tended to slide back and forth. But when I actually used the friction from my counter, I was able to roll it and brought back childhood memories of playing with Play-Doh trying to make Play-Doh snakes. Um, I did struggle a little bit. A couple times they would break or I'd get a section where it was just really thin in one area and I'd have to sort of work it around a little bit, but played with it, wrapped it into a pretzel shape. Uh, there was a note in the recipe to make sure that you really pinch where the, the top little I don't know what you call it, the top little pieces meet the bottom piece where you're folding it over. Make sure that it's pinched together really well because you boil pretzels just like bagels. You boil them before you bake them. And if it's not pinched together well, then when you pop it into the water, it's likely to just fall apart and just become another snake. <laughs> and we want to keep it in the pretzel form. So I'm just going to work through these. I have eight pieces, so eight pretzels to roll out in shape. The more I did it, the better I got at it. But it's still, I did struggle a little bit with the dough. As I would stretch it out, it would want to shrink back. So I had to play with it quite a bit to try to keep it um, elongated and keep working it and working it until it stayed. I think the instructions that in her recipe said about 18 inches. I feel like it would have been better to make them a little bit longer. Um, I've since then looked at a couple other recipes that called for like 20 to 24 inches. So obviously the longer you make the rope, the bigger your pretzel will be. But then depending on how many pieces of dough you divided it into, they might be thinner. So I guess it's a little bit of playing around with it to figure out what you really like. Yeah, if you saw right there, I just broke one right in half and had to sort of put it back together and start again. And in case you want a closer look, here's from another angle. So you can see me trying to force it to elongate out. And then as I roll it, I'm sort of moving my hands outward to lengthen it to make it a little bit longer. And then here's how you tie it. So you make a U, you twist it twice, and then you just fold it over. So easy peasy. I never realized it was that easy to shape a pretzel. And now I am allowing the pretzels to rise. You can see them over on the counter. They're just sitting for a while. And while they're rising like in their pretzel shape, I'm getting the water ready. So I have a big pot of water that I'm adding baking soda and brown sugar to. And this is the water that I'm going to boil my pretzels in. And 
and I'm just giving it a good stir around to allow the baking soda and the sugar to dissolve into the water. And here they are, just sitting here getting a little puffy. You might want to cover it like I did with a wet towel so they don't dry out too much. And then I'm going to start boiling them. The water is a little bit brown. You can see that's from like the brown sugar, but we get a nice roaring boil. Roaring? I don't think that's the right word. And we're just going to boil them about, I did two at a time, did 30 seconds on each side. So flipped them over halfway through, um, let them drain out on a tea towel. And then I am just going to make an egg wash. So I brushed the top of them with an egg wash to help the salt stick. So I brushed them with the egg wash, sprinkle a little salt on them, getting them ready for the oven. added a little bit of water to my egg. So I allowed them to drip dry. Now I'm moving them onto parchment paper to bake. And I didn't have pretzel salt, but I did have a very um, coarse sea salt. So that's what I'm topping them with. I must say I tried to be careful here to make sure like I put the salt right on there and make sure it stuck but I did get the feedback from my husband who is not a big salt fan that I needed more salt that they still weren't quite salty enough that I needed to add a little bit more so next time I'll be sure to add a little bit more and then we bake them off and here they are delicious pretzels they might not have been the best like they might they don't really match up to what you get in the mall but they're pretty darn good so thanks for joining me i hope you will give pretzels a try have a great day